Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 lineup has been surrounded by questions about its processors, and now, the mystery seems to be over. According to a new report from South Korean outlet ET News, the chip strategy for the Galaxy S26 series has finally been confirmed, and it's clear that only the Galaxy S26 Ultra will get the best treatment. The report states that Samsung will once again split its chip usage between Qualcomm and Exynos, but this time, the ratio and reasoning behind it are quite interesting. Round 70% of all Galaxy S26 models will use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, while the remaining 30% will feature Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chip. However, the story doesn't end there. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will exclusively feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in every region across the globe. That means whether it's the US, Europe, Korea, or anywhere else, the Ultra variant will be powered only by Qualcomm's top-tier chip. For the regular Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus, Samsung plans to mix things up. The North American versions will also use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, while the European and Korean versions will come equipped with the Exynos 2600. This decision shows that Samsung doesn't want to take any chances with its most premium model. The Ultra lineup is its most successful, accounting for more than 50% of total Galaxy S series sales. Naturally, Samsung wants to ensure that customers who buy its most expensive device experience the best possible performance and stability. One major reason behind Samsung's confidence in bringing back its in-house Exynos chips is the new technology used in their production. The Exynos 2600 is Samsung's first-ever 2 nanometer chip, marking a big leap from previous generations. The company has also introduced an innovative heat pass block or HPB system, which helps reduce overheating by efficiently transferring heat away from the chip. Last year's Galaxy S to 5 series used the Snapdragon 8, a lead across all models after reports of overheating and efficiency issues with Samsung's own processors. But this time, it seems those issues have been fixed, or at least improved, enough for Samsung to trust the Exynos chip again. Another factor that may have influenced Samsung's decision is supply limitations. Reports suggest that the Exynos 2600 has low manufacturing yields, meaning Samsung can't produce enough of them to power all Galaxy S26 units even if it wanted to. This shortage might have forced the company to rely more heavily on Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips. Interestingly, early benchmark results paint a fascinating picture. According to leaks, the Exynos 2600 could actually outperform the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and even beat Apple's A19 Pro chip used in the iPhone 17 Pro Max. Some leaks even compare its performance to Apple's powerful M5 chip found in the iPad Pro. However, benchmark numbers can be misleading. They only reflect peak performance, not how well the chip performs during long, sustained usage. If the Exynos 2600 were truly more powerful and stable, Samsung likely would have used it in the Ultra as well. So it's possible the company made this choice based on consumer perception, since most users still view Qualcomm chips as more reliable and consistent. Cristiano Amon, the CEO of Qualcomm, even hinted at this balance earlier in November, saying that around 75% of Galaxy S26 models will use Snapdragon chips, showing how closely Qualcomm and Samsung are working together for this launch. From a business standpoint, Samsung's decision also makes sense. Using in-house components like Exynos chips helps save costs and gives the company more control over hardware software integration. Still, given the challenges of supply and performance, Samsung seems to be taking a cautious approach, testing the waters by limiting the Exynos 2600 to a smaller number of models. It's a smart move. Considering the mixed reputation of past Exynos processors, Many users previously complained about lower efficiency and performance compared to their Snapdragon counterparts. This time, Samsung wants to regain trust while also keeping its chip development alive for future independence. So, what does this mean for consumers? In short, anyone buying the Galaxy S26 Ultra can expect consistent top tier performance powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, regardless of region. Buyers of the standard Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus, on the other hand, will need to check which chip version their region is getting. Still, there's good news for everyone. Both chips are expected to deliver fast, efficient, and powerful performance. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 brings proven stability, while the Exynos 2600 shows promise with advanced to nanometers technology and improved heat management. In the end, 
Samsung appears to be playing it safe while also showing confidence in its own technology. By giving the Ultra model the exclusive Snapdragon treatment, the company ensures that its flagship experience remains premium. While the inclusion of the Exynos 2600 in select models paves the way for a stronger and more balanced future for Samsung's chip division, dot no matter which version users get. One thing seems certain, the Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be one of the most powerful smartphone lineups of 2026.